Hey, welcome to another real time edit. As always, thanks for joining. And um, yeah, let's just jump right into this Blue Wing Warbler. So, just got done Warbler season. I've got a ton to edit, and I figured I'll go through a few of these for you guys. All right, so first things first, um, absolutely love this perch. It was such a cool spot to shoot these birds. Um, when these things were coming out, there was like maybe a period of like three or four days where these were really nice, just kind of just bursting open like this. And I don't know what the plant was, but it's a really cool shape. And I just found it kind of graphically neat. I wish I had the completion of that one in there, but I don't. Um, I don't like this little piece showing in down there, but I don't want to crop up any higher because I feel like it'll get too tight on that one. So that's about it. Exposure was pretty good right off the bat here. Um, yeah, just, you know, it worked pretty good. Not much to change here, I guess. Yeah, there's, there's nothing to change here, really. Uh, let's just hop over into Photoshop for this. And as always, everybody, if you're interested in learning more about exactly how I do everything I'm showing you here, um, feel free to visit my website and go to the workshop section. You can find out about... Uh, the online workshops that I offer, you can also find out about uh, working with me in person with an online session and uh, all kinds of different ways to learn all this stuff. So anyway, this isn't so much teaching as much as showing what's possible. All right, let's start out. I'm just going to clone out this stuff down here and we'll just get rid of that. Uh, everything else is looking pretty good. Not too much to clone on this one. All right, next up. I mean, gosh, there's really not a lot to do here, but I do want to make the birds stand out a little bit more than everything else. So I'm going to start by just darkening everything, and then we'll just kind of leave this band where the, the flower is and where the bird is just a little bit lighter overall. And let everything else, whoops, zoom in the wrong way, let everything else just go a little bit darker. I um, could probably use a little bit of dodge on just the bird's head here and the eye and the back a little bit there. Not a lot. I don't want to go crazy with it. And then we'll just do another layer and kick the catch light up just a little bit and mainly along the bright area there. I don't want to lighten that whole upper half because watch, if I do, like if I lighten that all up, that just looks weird to me. It's just too much. Uh, it's something I see a lot lately where the catch lights are like, they're like glowing crazy and I don't know. Uh, for, I guess for my taste, I don't think it's horrible, but for my taste, it just looks too too processed, I guess. All right, last thing I really want to change is I'm going to kind of get rid of some of that gray over there. So I'm just going to hop into curves here and add some green and see if I can kind of just clean up that color a little bit. Now it's making this obviously way too neon, so we'll just back off of that. Would be crazy if that plant was that green. All right, it's too yellow, so I'll back off of that a little bit more. Yeah, you know what? I'm not liking how that's looking, so I'm going to try a different method. Just try doing a color layer here. I think that may do the trick a little bit better. Yeah, it did. There we go. And then I'll just, again, mask it off of here. So that goes back to original color. And that kind of took care of that. It's a little bit too saturated up there. So let me paint some less saturated color in there. Hopefully, there we go. All right, cool. Uh, I think that should about do it on this one. Yeah, not a lot. Uh, you know what? Actually, now I can see this bottom right corner could use a little bit of green. So that I can just do with curves. Whoops, didn't mean to hit the red channel. I meant to hit the green. And we can just paint a little bit of that in over here, just kind of richen that up. And that should be good. There we go. Um, all right, so total before, after. You can see how it just kind of subtly brings attention into the bird there and makes that just a little bit better, I'd say. All right, so um, just a reminder, head to rayhennessy.com slash workshops or just click on the workshop section in the menu there. And then you can find out about all the different ways to work with me uh, to learn stuff, including my um, online workshops. I got a, a lot of different options there. So if you head on over there, a bunch of different courses, mentorships, which I don't really have any space for new people on those right now, but you can always contact me. And as soon as I do, I can get you in. All right, so 
Uh, let's check that compared to the complete original real quick. There you go. Finished image on the bottom, um, original up top. Not too much of a change there, but looks pretty nice overall. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching.